All right, we're in the Fredericksburg National Battlefield. Here's the sunken road and the stone wall where the Confederates' uh, position was. And down to the right is where the Union advanced to try to take these heights. This is Marie's Heights. And uh, they were just mowed down by the Confederates behind this wall and up here with their artillery. Uh, Burnside just kept on throwing men at this uh, position and further on south here trying to break through the Confederate lines. Actually it's taken the town of Fredericksburg which is in front of us and burnt it down. Uh, and uh, was the first amphibious landing on American soil down on the river when Ambrose Burnside's people crossed the Rappahannock River and the first urban warfare down in town. But this was just a losing proposition, as you can see. The Confederates held high ground, and the Union just couldn't overcome the position. This is another view of the sunken road in Maurice Heights. The guide said it was, and the movie said it was, the best position Lee ever had. And uh, 30,000 Union soldiers advanced through the fields which were now built up with neighborhoods on the other side of this wall with no cover and were just mowed down by the Confederates behind the wall and this sunken road which linked Washington and Richmond and the artillery up here on Maurice Heights and more Confederate infantry uh, helped ensure that the uh, Union although they had taken the town of Fredericksburg weren't going to uh, destroy the Confederate army that was was uh, entrenched here. This is the remains or what marks the Stevens House which was about the only cover that the Union had when they were crossing the fields beyond that fence and where that neighborhood is now which was the open fields and was the Fa Fredericksburg Fairgrounds where the Union soldiers advanced and were mowed down about 7,000 of them I believe. But uh, this house served a little bit of cover, was destroyed. Over here is one more house that still stands. Uh, that's called the um, Ennis House. And there's bullet holes in the walls from the Confederates that were up on Maurice Heights. Uh, stray shots that made its way into the Ennis House as they were firing on the Union that was advancing through those neighborhoods that were once just fields, open fields uh, up from the Rappahannock River. This section here is the only remaining original part of the uh, retaining wall of the sunken road that was cut into Marie's Heights here, a road between Washington and Richmond. Of course provided natural cover for the Confederates. The only remaining wall over here to the left was where the Ebert's house stood in the uh, volley. It's one of the landmarks. Up there the statue of a South Carolinian uh, infantryman who uh, went down at risk of life. They called him the Angel of Marie Heights to uh, provide wounded Union soldiers um, water. When they realized that uh, he was doing that they stopped firing on him. And he died later in the Battle of Chickamauga.